Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The year 2023 has just got started and the Indian defense sector is full of enthusiasm and some of the very critical developments for which we have been waiting for quite long has progressed. The first was the recent agreement between NMRL and the French Naval Group for retrofitting DRDO's fuel cell-based AIP in Ines Calvary. Now, the second news which was much awaited was the test of HST-DV. As per latest media reports, India has conducted the second flight test of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HST-DV from the east coast over the Bay of Bengal. It was first tested in the year 2020 where it was able to successfully demonstrate the hypersonic combustion for more than 20 seconds where the HSTDV continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of max 6 or nearly 2 km per second. While we were recording the video, details of the test such as flight path, flight duration and speed etc has not been released. Now there are two types of hypersonic missiles which are under development or in service with various militaries of the world. The first one is hypersonic cruise missile which is powered by an air breathing ramjet or a scramjet or dual mode ramjet which is called DMRJ engine. The second one is hypersonic glide vehicle which reach the orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards the target. The hypersonic cruise missiles are powered throughout their flights using a scramjet engine whereas the hypersonic glide vehicle makes use of their aerodynamic shape to glide towards the target after release from a certain altitude and speed. The hypersonic glide vehicle follows zigzag trajectory during their terminal phase and not a typical parabolic path making them extremely unpredictable. At the same time, the hypersonic cruise missile has comparatively smoother path of motion but their flight altitude is much lower than hypersonic glide vehicle hence their detection in radar is nearly impossible due to Earth's curvature. Now, As we all know that DRDO has been working on developing a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HSTDV which is powered by a scramjet engine and will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile. The development of hypersonic cruise missile which is expected to be a spin-off of HSTDV will be powered by scramjet engine and will be commenced under the project Vishnu. Recently DRDL has released a poster with all the missiles under development by the organization which you can see on your screen. The most important of them is hypersonic cruise missile based on HST-DV and this is the first official image of HST-DV based missile in our knowledge released by DRDL. So if you look carefully, the HST-DV is mounted on a booster with six control surfaces. The booster is expected to be derived from K-4 missile rather than Agni missile which was used in HST-DV trial of 2020. On the top part of HST-DV, we can also see four control surfaces. The missile resembles Russian Zircon and Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. DRDO is working on developing advanced material for a scramjet engine which can withstand the thermodynamic stresses in the hypersonic vehicles. Now there are two different variants of hypersonic missile likely to be developed under Project Vishnu. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range around 2500 km and is expected to enter service by 2024-25. The second one is going to be a smaller and compact version of air launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range in excess of 700 km that can be launched from an aircraft. The expected speed of these missiles will range from Mach 7 to Mach 10. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.